Thank you. Hi, doctor. Thank you for being here. My name is Damon L. Jacobs. I'm a licensed psychotherapist in New York State and associate fellow with R Street Institute in D.C. Um, as a gay man growing up in the U.S., I was traumatized by the AIDS epidemic in the 80s, and now there's a lot of hope, and we've seen how harm reduction strategies have changed the, the canvas of the epidemic. Of course, my concern now is that the CDC is telling us there are 30,000 LGBT tobacco-related deaths every year. And my question for you is, do you feel that nicotine replacements, such as vaping, play a role in harm reduction and in getting those numbers down for tobacco-related deaths the way we have done so with HIV? Yeah, so very good question, and, and thank you for asking this. Uh, E-cigarettes actually, and vaping, uh, is a very common topic that comes up uh, when, when we travel, in part because people aren't quite sure what to make of it. They don't know, is it helpful, is it harmful, uh, do we not know yet? Uh, and these, these are questions that come up. Uh, I was actually, uh, a couple of years ago, I was in, in Seattle at the beginning of my term, and I had a, uh, a teacher uh, who came to one of our listening sessions, and she said to me, she said, you know, my kids are vaping in class. And I said, how is that? Uh, she said, well, they can't smoke in class, and they can't drink alcohol or use drugs. They can't chew gum in class, but they're vaping because we don't have any rules around that because nobody quite knows what to do. Yeah. Now, things have since changed, uh, and Washington State has rules, and Seattle has rules around that. And so that, that situation has changed, but that was reflective of a much larger body of questions that we got. When it comes to harm reduction, uh, you, you know, we have seen in other, other areas, including uh, when it comes to transmission of uh, needle-borne infections or blood-borne infections through needles, uh, that harm reduction has in some cases proven to be an effective strategy. Uh, when, it comes to, uh, when it comes to smoking, um, we should absolutely look closely uh, at everything possible to look for harm reduction uh, tools. Now, is vaping one of them uh, is a question. And there's been a lot of anecdotal evidence that has showed that people have said that they've been able to use uh, e-cigarettes uh, to quit smoking traditional cigarettes. And number one, that is just great because we want everyone to quit smoking traditional cigarettes. That is the goal here. Uh, the challenge is that if you ask the question, do we have the, the depth of scientific data uh, that would prove that e-cigarettes currently are both safe and effective for cessation, uh, that quality of data is not there yet. Uh, my hope is that as we learn more, that question will be answered more definitively. Uh, but recently we put out a report actually on e-cigarettes and youth. Now this is somewhat separate from the question of are e-cigarettes useful for cessation for adults, okay? And in that report, what we raised a concern about was the fact that we have had a marked and alarming increase in the number of kids, middle school and high school students, who are using uh, e-cigarettes. Uh, in fact, between 2011 and 2015, we had about a 900% increase, uh, so much so that e-cigarettes are now the most commonly used uh, tobacco-related product uh, among, uh, among uh, kids. And that's a rapid development in a relatively short period of time. And so there, we have to be able to do two things uh, simultaneously. One is recognize that kids should not be using any tobacco-related or derived product, whether those chewing tobacco, traditional cigarettes, or e-cigarettes. And the second is to recognize that we have to let science drive and guide us when it comes to decisions around whether e-cigarettes or any other uh, device can be useful for cessation. Uh, my concern with this area is that I, I, I worry that the debate on e-cigarettes and cessation has become very polarized, so much so that people aren't always listening to each other. Uh, on the one hand, you have folks who uh, believe that we should absolutely get, be getting e-cigarettes into the hands of every smoker, that we have all the evidence that we need right now. We have, on the other hand, people who believe that e-cigarettes are the gateway to evil and we should be getting rid of them entirely. Uh, but really what we need to do is let science and not opinion guide us. Uh, and my hope is that if we take that approach, that we will ultimately be able to help people quit in a way that's both effective as well as safe. Thank you. Unfortunately.